In this video, we're going to learn how to find the slope of a line and the y-intercept of a line when we're given the formula. A linear function, f of x, is a function that can be written in the form f of x equals mx plus b, where m and b are real numbers. When we have an equation written in this form, f of x equals mx plus b, m stands for the slope of the line. What is the slope of a line? The slope of a line is a number used to describe the steepness of the line. We could have a line going upwards like so, or going upwards like so. I would describe this line as having a positive slope, and this line also having a positive slope. So it seems that if it has a positive slope, as we travel left to right, the line goes upwards. But I clearly see that these two lines are different. The slope of a line is a number describing that steepness. So for example, on this line, I would say it's pretty steep. If I go over 1, maybe I go up 5. Whereas on this line, when I go over 1, I might only go up 1. This line, as I go over 1, I go up 5, would have a, sl a slope of 5 over 1, or just 5. It's a positive number, positive 5, and it's relatively big, over 1, up 5, kind of steep. Whereas this line, over 1, up 1, I would describe it as having a slope of 1 over 1, or just the number 1. Again, it's positive because it's going up as we travel left to right. However, this line on the left is steeper. It has a slope of 5, and this line on the right is less steep. It has a slope of 1. You, of course, could also have lines that are going downwards. As we travel left to right, these lines are going down. So we would describe these lines as having negative slope. But clearly, again, the line on the left and the line on the right are different. This line is steeper. I could say maybe as I go over 1, I go down 5. And on this line, I go over 1, down 1. In this case on the left, as I go down 5 over 1, it has a slope of negative 5. And this line on the right, I go over 1, down 1. It has a slope of negative 1. We see that the slope of the line that is steeper has a slope that's negative 5, much more negative. And the slope on the right that is more shallow has a slope of negative 1. Now again, Equations that are linear functions, lines, can be written in the form f of x equals mx plus b. We've discovered m represents the slope of the line, a number that describes steepness of the line. b is another number, and the b represents the y-intercept of the line. 0 comma b is the y-intercept of the line. So it's the point on the graph that crosses the y-axis. b will be the height of that point. There are three pretty commonly used forms of linear functions. We've already looked at one of them. f of x equals mx plus b. m is the slope. 0b is the y-intercept. And because this form of the line gives you the slope and the y-intercept, we call it the slope-intercept form of a line. Another very commonly used form of lines is f of x equals m times the quantity x minus x1 plus y1. This is called the point-slope form of a line. Again, I'm seeing m, that's the slope of the line. But these numbers over here, x1, y1, represent an arbitrary point on this line. Notice in the slope-intercept form, b gives you a very specific point on the line, the y-intercept. But in the point-slope form of a line, x1, y1 is any point on the line. 
So any point, there's an infinite number of points on any line, and this could be any one of them. Lastly, the standard form of a line, or the general form of a line, is AX plus BY equals C. And we will see that form of a line sometimes as well.